What's up all you cool snakes and neonates? Hope you're all keeping well. So as you can see from the thumbnail, it's New Animal Day. Someone I noticed on Facebook had a bearded dragon, couldn't look after it anymore, so they were struggling to find someone. What are you making a joke about? <laughs> yeah, I know, I've seen it, that's why I said it. No, I'm like, okay. Never mind the backdrop right now, we're having a storm and loads of rubbish and black bags has blown into our garden. The trampoline is trying to take off as we speak, so you may see that fly away. But, um, Let's go. <clears throat> so, what was I saying? They couldn't look after the bearded dragon anymore. So we're we're gonna go up and take off their hands. So let's go and take a drive up to Inverness, guys. was a quick six hour drive wasn't it? Hey? But we got this little guy home. Of course this is next day guys. Um, we have got this little guy home. He sat on Kirsten's lap the whole way back, two and a half hours back down from Inverness. He just sat and slept. Of course it was evening time with the heaters going in the car. These guys, well in the evenings these guys can cope perfectly fine with our sort of live at our indoor temperatures here in Scotland. So as long as we were comfortable in our t-shirts, he was comfortable. And he just went to sleep on Curse's lap and that was how we went. We did take a box for him, but he didn't even need it. Super well behaved, super awesome animal. So he has some minor MBD uh, in his front elbows. This stands for metabolic bone disease. Now they get that from improper diets, uh, improper lighting, all that kind of stuff. So I noticed that he has the wrong size heat bulb in his enclosure. So the heat isn't getting up to what he should be getting. And he is also doesn't have a dimmer stat on that heat bulb. So because the bulb is so low in wattage, um, that's how the previous owner has managed to get away with just using it without a dimmer stat. Really, he should have a higher wattage dimmer stat. You get a higher, to, uh, higher wattage bulb, you get a higher temperature, and then a dimmer stat on it to stop it from going too high. So that is something we're going to have to invest in in the very near future to give this guy the proper care that he needs, the proper husbandry that he needs. Um, because he's not eating terribly well. He's about five years old. Um, he looks a little small for five years old, but if he's not had the right temperatures, means he can't digest very well. So he's maybe not being keen on eating because he's not been digesting very well on top of that. So I'm hoping if we can sort his temperatures out, um, he will be good to go and we can put a little bit of weight on him. He's not underweight but you can slightly see his hips. Now he was housed with a male in the past so the male actually ripped his tail off. The bearded dragons do not do well when you house two males together. They're far too territorial. They'll tear limbs off, they'll tear, tear each other up bit by bit and they'll actually kill each other eventually. So that's not good. But this little guy is fantastic. He's not even been home 24 hours and he is just so chilled, so amazing. Even though he has a little bit of MBD in those front elbows, which is where the bone sort of starts to seize up and mold to itself and sort of goes solid, so he won't be able to bend his elbows as well. He still climbs fantastically well. He's a really good climber. Um, so it's definitely not holding him back. He has no deformities. You'll often get deformities in the jaw, rone, jaw lines and things like that with MBD. Um, so he doesn't have any of that. So because of that, I know that it's just sort of the beginning stages of MBD in these elbows. A little broken toe at the back, possibly the male as well that did that. So he hasn't had a fantastic start in life, guys. 
So we took the animal on for the person before because they wanted to make sure he was going to a good home that we're going to keep a hold of him. So that is what we're going to do. He's going to be an animal ambassador. He's going to be an educator for our off the scale experiences for our zoo to you kind of thing. So once he's settled down, calmed down, gone through a bit of training, which I don't think he's going to need much, um, he will be used as an educational ambassador once he's sort of sorted out in temperature wise and all that kind of thing. But isn't he the cutest? He is absolutely wonderful. Um, some of you might say, Reptile Rich, you know, you've got a giant tegu, you have rear fang venomous, you've got massive constrictors. What are you doing buying a bearded dragon, which is a beginner's lizard? I love all animals and this animal needed a good forever home and we thought, what the heck, we can give that animal a good forever home. So we've taken him on. So the old owner didn't want anything for him. So um, they just wanted to know he was going to a good home. So you guys will get regular updates on Mr. Nobbins here, we're going to call him. Because of that nubby tail, I think Mr. Nobbins is a good name for him. Um, so this is Mr. Nobbins, guys. Isn't he awesome? So as always, guys, Thank you very much for tuning in. You're an awesome bunch. Don't forget to like, sub like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell button, share the channel around, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill. From me and the rest of the gang and Mr. Nubbins here, take it easy. Peace.